Hi there, it's Sandra, and you are listening to the podcast, A Duchess Like Us. of a duchess like us a podcast that will be a positive platform for the fans and supporters of the duchess of sussex this new podcast will be joining the sussex squad podcast the sussex set and my duke and i podcasts which are solely focused on bringing a positive narrative to the reporting of megan and harry the duke and duchess of sussex i love these podcasts I love listening to them and I have subscribed to all of them. They have been such an inspiration to me. Okay, so let me introduce myself. I'm Sandra and I'm based in the UK. So let me just put it out there right now at the beginning. I am no royalist. Of course, I know about the royal family and who they are. You can't not know about them growing up here in the UK. Like everyone else, I saw them at Trooping of the Colour the state opening of parliament, royal weddings, royal births, etc. But I really wasn't into them. So why am I interested in Meghan now? Well, that's a good question. When the press outed Meghan and Harry's relationship, I wasn't really that bothered. It didn't affect my life, right? So I wasn't particularly interested one way or the other. But then I started to notice that the press were being really nasty towards her especially after Kimson Palace put out a statement on Harry's behalf defending her to the press. I really noticed a lot of horrible headlines about her and her mother. So one day, about three or four months after KP put out that statement, I saw a particularly nasty headline about her. Well, I had time on my hands, so I just googled her name to see who she was and what what the fuss was all about. And there she was. And I remember thinking, oh, there's no doubt here, she looks mixed race. And that's when the penny dropped. That's the reason why the British press were having a fit. She's mixed race. And then I'm like, nah, that can't be it. But I started looking into it more and I wanted to know what she'd done. I mean, had she killed someone's dog? And the answer was no, she hadn't done anything. And no, she hasn't killed anyone's dog. In fact, she's done the opposite. She's rescued dogs. So, in my opinion, the only thing that she's done wrong is to be a person of colour, to be mixed race. And in the British media's eyes, she's black. And that's it. And that's when I decided to take more interest in her and in Harry and the reporting of her by the British media. And surprise, surprise, it got progressively worse. And in my opinion, it became extremely biased and unfair. And that, in a nutshell, is how I became interested in Meghan. So to sum up, I'm most definitely no royalist, but I do have a soft spot for Meghan, Harry and baby Archie. So today, I just want to use this first episode to introduce myself and the podcast to you and explain three things. And they are my why, the format of the episodes and how you can contact me. Okay, so let's get started. So why did I decide to create this podcast? Well, there are a number of reasons, but my main reasons are as follows. Reason number one. I wanted to focus on the Duchess of Sussex because she is a Duchess like us. She is a strong, independent, self-made woman who's had a very successful career. In her case, an acting career in Hollywood and been on a successful TV series for seven years. She's also a woman of mixed race who's proud of both sides of her heritage. But I happen to think that she's also a reflection of how we as black and ethnic minority Brits are seen and treated in the British media and the British society in general. Reason number two. 
I am so tired of the unfair reporting of the Duchess of Sussex in the British media. There are so many examples, but here are just a few that I've selected. Number one, the claim that Meghan wanted air fresheners in St George's Chapel, Windsor for her wedding because the chapel smelled musty. Really? Number two, the outrageous claim that Meghan put out a list of commandments so that people on the royal estate knew what to do if they met her or Harry out and about walking near their Frogmore home. I can't believe that one. We have since found out that this was a joke and it had nothing to do with Meghan or Harry or Buckingham Palace. Number three. The nonsense surrounding the birth and christening of Archie. The British press had a hissy fit for no reason. Because in the end, we got pictures of Archie as a newborn with his parents um, at Windsor Castle. And we got the official pictures of his christening. Just as we had been told we were going to get. So I don't understand what the problem was. They were just having a fit for no reason. Number four. The hysterical and negative response by the British media to Meghan guest editing the September 2019 edition of British Vogue. Apparently, royals don't guest edit magazines, etc. Only celebrities do. But wait, didn't Prince Charles guest edit a country magazine twice? Didn't Prince Harry guest edit a radio programme? Didn't Kate guest edit the Huffington Post and wrote a guest blog for them as well? But royals don't guest edit magazines, right? Reason number three. I want to talk about the work that Meghan does fairly. I want to talk about the events and the engagement that the Duchess of Sussex undertakes now and the ones that she will undertake in the future. I want to talk about her involvement with charities and the impact that she has on them and then the impact that charity has on the local communities. I want to look at how black and ethnic minority Brits are treated in society today and how the British press treats us. Do you think we are portrayed fairly? And finally, reason number four. I want to bring a British perspective to some of the reporting, good or bad, of the Duchess. So there you have it. Those are my whys. Now, let's look at the format of each episode. I'm still not 100% sure, but it will look something like this. The main format for each episode will be a panel or a round table format, where I'd like to have a maximum of three guest panellists. However, you could get a solo episode like this one, or possibly an interview or two. Who knows? During each episode we will discuss the most current news and events that the Duchess has completed that week, how it affects our lives as Brits and specifically black Brits. We can also discuss questions or topics that you have sent in and you'd like us to talk about. I'm really open for that. And if you'd like to be a guest panellist on the podcast, please reach out to me and I'll tell you how you can do that in a minute. Oh, and the plan is to have the podcast go out as one episode per week. However, if there is something special like a royal tour, then I might be able to get out an extra episode during that week. So, how do you contact me? If you'd like to send in a question for discussion or send in some positive feedback to me, then you can contact me via email hello at a duchesslikeus.com or on Twitter at a Duchess Like Us podcast, and you can DM me at Duchess Us. Okay, so that's it for the first episode. Thank you so much for listening to the podcast. Don't forget to send in any questions or topics that you would like to have discussed on future episodes, and any positive feedback if you have any. Or if you'd like to be a panellist on the podcast, please reach out to me. On email, my email address is hello at 
a duchesslikeus.com or on Twitter, you can DM me at duchessus. It'd be lovely if you would subscribe to this podcast and don't forget to subscribe to the Sussex Squad podcast, the Sussex Set and my Duke and I podcast if you haven't done so already. I really hope that you've enjoyed this first little podcast and you'll come back for more. I'll see you next time. Bye.